I took the day-night cycle speed in Subnautica and cranked it way up to 1,000 times as normal speed so that each day is one second long. Can you hear all these explosions? Whoa! <laughs> it worked exactly like I hoped it would. This is way more crazy than I thought it would be. Whoa! What is he doing here? What changed about the game? What broke? And can you beat the game like this? I'll show you. Let's check it out. So yeah, I was messing around on stream with Somatica's code like I normally do, and I had coded up a mess of a mod that made a bunch of little changes to the game, but I wasn't sure what to try next. What else can we mess with? Let's try making the day pass super quick. So I wrote a little code that makes it so days pass a thousand times faster. And it instantly seemed like a lot of fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so fast! This yep, okay, mm -hmm. she's talking over herself. There's no sound in the game now! Oh, there we go! Is there a way to see what day we're on? Day 132, day 133, day 134. So, since we were having so much fun playing the game like this, I thought it would be cool to try and beat the game from start to finish. So, fair warning, there will be some Nautica spoilers in this video. All right, we're starting a new survival game. Let's see what happens. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. Well, it's working. Can you hear all these explosions and voice things happening? Every time-based event in the game has already happened. Let's see what's happening. Oh. Wow! It is already day 110. Uh, worth mentioning that one of the changes I made to the game with this mod is that these exploding fish called crash fish will attack me and explode at every opportunity. Oh god, here they come! Here they come! No! Every crash fish in the game is coming for me. Oh god, we do have to get cave sulfur. Well, hopefully they've all blown up already, and we can do that pretty easily. I wonder how many things are broken because of the day-night speed. Ew. Why is there- Oh! Does food rot super fast? Wait, are crash fish respawning? Oh my god! Yeah, apparently crash fish respawn after a few days, but now a few days was just a few seconds. I did! I didn't even do it on purpose! It was an accident! No! Please! Okay, can I- No, no, no! Don't respawn! No, I need you! I need- Yes! Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye! Whoa! This is way more crazy than I thought it would be. Like, more than I intended it to be. I did not consider the ramifications of all the things I've modified interacting with each other. Look at this scene we've created. The same fish keeps coming for me. Like, every three seconds. This is day 280. We've been here almost an Earth year already. Well, that was nuts. Then I noticed making things in the fabricator seemed oddly fast. That happened really fast. That was weird. We gotta, we gotta make that, and then that. So I instantly craft things because apparently the fabricator is tied to day-night speed. Who knew? We're on day 426. Hello? Eat something. Eat something, you fool. Now we have food. No, but then the food rots instantly! Oh no! Thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Oh, ow! We need to find- Oh, I died! So, because our food rots instantly, we need to use salt to make it cured. That's our only way to eat. Two peepers walk into a bar. One of them was assaulted. Maybe if I rush, if I like really, really hurry, I can shove it in my mouth as fast as possible. All right, let me grab a few peepers and we'll do some experiments. And then go, 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 eat it, eat it, eat it. No, it's already rotten. All right, no, we can't eat unless we salt it. <gasps> oh, what? He got me through the life pod? One of the crash fish got me through the life pod. That's not good. Oh, and we get infinite medical kits? Look at that. We get infinite medical kits! Okay, that's a good trade. Uh, I don't think they'll be able to reach me on top of the pod, but yeah, see this guy! That guy! Oh no, they can still get me on top of the pod! We gotta build a base like yesterday. So, I set out to gather supplies so we could build a base in a safer location. But pretty quickly, I noticed that crash fish might not be our only concern. Okay. We all- Whoa! 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 What is he doing here? He's not supposed to be here! What the heck is that? What's happening right now? Not ideal. What about you? What? No! Why? Why are you here? 
No, there's not supposed to be a Reaper over here. What is happening? Oh, I'm drowning too. No. We gotta go home. It's called the safe shallows. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ignore the explosion sounds coming from all directions. What day is it? We are on day 1600. There we go. Builder tool. Ooh, are, are our solar panels gonna work? I didn't think about that. Is it gonna work? Yes, we have power. Power restored. Oh. All primary systems online. Oh, bass voice. You don't know how good it is to hear that. I really didn't know if this was going to work. It Boom! There we go. Oh, God! What are you doing here? What is this? No! You're not supposed to be here! So, yeah, I was really noticing that I was getting attacked a lot from every direction. Then I noticed a bit of code in my mod that seemed like it might be related to all this aggression. Interesting. Wait. Aggressive 1C target. So am I making everything aggressive at me? Oh no. <laughs> okay. I guess everything is trying to kill me constantly. Well, good to know. We are on day 2280. Everybody enjoying this nice disorienting blinking light? It's like the whole game is an emergency. <laughs> so what else is crazy in this world? Like do crops grow faster or something? Next up, the island. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at the shadows! They're really struggling to keep up with the sun. There's a new sentence. In the jungle, during this harsh day, night, day, night. Alright, so I'm gonna scan the planter. Oh wait, but these are gonna rot instantly. See, it's already rotten. Well, we'll try it anyway. Maybe I can still plant the rotten fruit. Okay, I think we're ready to try some plant science. Alright, we switch that. Whoop! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that was so cool! It worked exactly like I hoped it would. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go boop! Whoop. I love it. That's so good. That's amazing. I mean, it's completely worthless to us because the fruit rots instantly and actually hurts us if we eat it. I never go out there anymore. It's terrifying and the days feel like they pass so quickly. It feels like my life is passing before my eyes. And I haven't even lived it. Anyway, let's go find some more junk. Today, the minutes seem like hours. The hours go so quickly. I'm trying to find limestone so we can find some copper so that I can build the stuff that I need to build. And we're still real slow swimming. Like, it takes us several days to get anywhere. Alright, can we make a battery? Yes? Okay, now we can make some stuff. Boom. Where did my power source go? No! Can I not use a flashlight? Does it kill the battery instantly? <laughs> oh no! Because that's how it checks how long the flashlight has been on, by how much daytime has passed. We can't use a flashlight! <laughs> yep! Flashlight just drains a battery instantly. Well, good. Yeah, not being able to use a flashlight is a problem because it's gonna limit our ability to explore some of the darker areas of the game, unless we could find a workaround. I can't go in there, I don't have a light. Oh, a flare. We can use flares. Wait, do flares burn out super quick? Flare, how do we make a flare? Flare It's just, oh my God. Cave sulfur, that's not what you want. Uh, cave sulfur, cave sulfur, give me the cave sulfur! I really hope the flare doesn't burn out instantly. Yeah, okay, we're good. Woohoo! Oh, this is working wonders! Okay, I'm so happy! Copper wire, there we go. I always forget how fast that is. All right, now we can charge our batteries. Wait, do the batteries charge instantly? Hold on! Whoop. There they go, instantly full! <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Whoop. <laughs> well, at least I can use the batteries with my other tools. And with that solved, it was time to find a faster way to get around. Onward we swim towards the horizon, sun ever rising and setting, quick as can be. We seek a faster mode of transportation, but it is sunk to the sea floor. Can we find it? Yes, we can. Oxygen, oxygen, my bad. We're fine. I can hold my breath for days. Oh, here we go. Boom, sea glide, baby. All right, sea glide, baby. Oh, and uh, worth mentioning, I made a slight modification to the sea glide that makes it a little bit faster. Yippee! Time is going fast, why shouldn't I? I got the Leviathan warning, but I don't care because it's like I'm super speedy. 
Whoa, 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 I care a little, I care a little. All right, now we're gonna cut through here. Uh, laser cutter, not fast. Laser cutter, same speed. Go fast or slow by, oh, we're dying. Well, we're gonna go for it, we're gonna go for it. We're only 100 meters down, we can make it, come on. No, we're fine, we'll make it. We'll make it, we'll make it. We're gonna make it, 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 we're gonna make it. Yes! <laughs> we made it! <laughs> See, it was fine the whole time. Oh, maybe we need to trigger this event to see if it happens super fast. All right, let's listen to this. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We're now en route to your location. I think this is the one with the timer. So I'm interested to see if this does anything funky. All right, here we go. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. Whoa! Landing site for you Whoa! Guys. That was really fast! You, it'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Take us a couple of days, a couple of days, a couple of days. There they are! No, we're gonna miss it! We gotta get over there! An initiating surface scanning procedure. Wait! What? Detecting we overshot it! Lost. How interesting. It's tied to in-game world. Time, not real world time. We can try it one more time. I saved right before it. Three, two, one, go! Aurora, we're approaching the planet. Now. Oh, 31 minutes, 14 minutes, zero minutes! We're too late! Cross your fingers, the Whoa, we overshot it! Where are we? Oh, we went through the ground! Hey, we made it this time! Whoa, look! It didn't do the gun animation because it didn't know we're over here. Because we went so fast, maybe? Frankly, I want to beat the game. That's my goal. I really want the scanner room. That's going to speed things way up. Scanner room fragment! We got it! Let's go! Let's do this! Boom! Scanner room! Let's just try to look for limestone. Let's see what happens. Whoa! <laughs> Finds them all instantly! God, look at all the salt. What is this, the internet? It is day 19,170. So one of our biggest problems throughout this playthrough has been the basics. Unrotted food, which in our case requires salt and water. Fortunately, the game has the perfect machine to solve both of these problems. I am dehydrated AF. Did we ever find the, the liquid maker machine? No, we did not. That would have been good. It makes salt too. Oh, that would have been the perfect machine. Oh, we need to build that. Oh. Water filtration machine. We really needed this. All right, let's build the water filtration machine. I suspect it will generate water and salt instantly. It does not. All right, disappointing, but let's come back to that in a minute. At least we can still generate water and salt at the normal speed, right? This, zero, it doesn't work at all? I thought it would do the opposite. How can you not work at all? Like it just does not work at all. Ah, so dehydrated. Oh, we should see if eggs hatch super fast maybe. Yes, the alien containment, we really needed that. So I wanna put eggs in there and see if they hatch instantly. All right, let's drop off an egg and see what happens. Yep, creature eggs hatch instantly. Let's do another one. Boop. Yeah, that's awesome. Do we need to go to the deep parts of the map? At this point, if we were gonna beat this game, we needed to go to the deeper parts of the map. So we set out to find my favorite spot to build a base down there. We're looking for a giant blue tree. Yeah, the light is still changing even this far down. Yeah, found it. <laughs> This is coming together nicely. All right, folks, it's time for the secret phrase. Remember, if you hear the secret phrase, like, comment, and subscribe to prove you heard it. Today's secret phrase is a purple tablet. Where are we? I'm so lost. Whoa, hey, sir, calm down. Can we make a purple tablet? <laughs> now we're gonna learn if the bioreactor charges your base super fast. Woo, yep. All right, here we go. We're going into the deep parts. It's, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be really hot and burning. I really should have built a compass. Oh, I'm so lost. So yeah, at this point, we really needed to build a prawn suit so we could keep exploring those deeper areas of the map without getting burnt to a crisp. Prawn suit. Oh, I forgot. Oh no. The rainbow vehicles mod is on. Oh, it's terrible. 
Yeah, look at that. Day and day. Let's get in our prawn suit, finally. Yeah, see, we're already in our depth limit. Oh, sir. Okay. Yes, see, now we can do this. Let's get some uh, ion cubes. Boom. Now, let's see if it respawns instantly. Boom, yep. <laughs> Oh no, but it won't let me mine it. That's funny, it does respawn instantly, but I can't mine it. Hey there folks, did you miss the first secret phrase? Don't worry, we've got a backup phrase just for you. Today's backup secret phrase is salty jerky. So remember, like, comment, and subscribe if you hear that backup secret phrase. I can't imagine what my blood pressure is in this game with all the uh, salty jerky we've been eating. And now, it was time for the final part of our journey. Building a rocket and escaping the planet. Oh, yes! I want to see if we can get the prawn suit on the launch pad. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. Where'd my prawn suit go? Whoa, why is my prawn suit 600 meters in the air? Wonder if we'll pass it on the way up. We prepared our rocket and left a time capsule filled with salt, water, and med kits. The items we found most essential to our survival here. The local star and planets whizzed through the sky at unbelievable speeds. Years passed like minutes. Food rotted instantly. I have filled this time capsule with the most important items for survival under these unusual conditions. I wish you luck with your time on this planet, strange as it may be. Brad is Brad. Two, one. Woohoo! Time capsule jettisoned. Is there a prawn suit up there? Oh, we're not actually going up. Our coordinates are staying the same. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Look at, look at it blinking. The clouds are constantly Zero changing colors. 24,544 days. Well, that's what happens if every day is one second in Subnautica. 